it's very simple. You just type in an email. I'm going to use John Doe at example.com. Here for John Doe at example.com, we see 56 breaches and 12 pastes that email was found in. And if we scroll down, we see that it was in the get, the factual, the geeked in, and we can read about the other types of data that was found on these websites and we can understand a little bit more about it. But we don't know any of the other data about this John at gmail.com. We don't know what any of the data that was in their profile, what got released. And this is actually something that scammers use all the time against us, David. I don't know if you've ever gotten the email, oh, I'm sorry to tell you, but I've had a virus on your system or a Trojan on your system for months. And I've watched you as you've gone to pornographic websites and I have videos. And then they give you a little trust trick. They say, here's your password. That password's coming from breach data. And you'd be surprised at the many people that don't realize that and um, actually send money. This website is legit, right? Oh yeah, absolutely. This website is um, was made by Troy Hunt, Australian security researcher, very, very uh, trustworthy individual. Uh, and what they do is they grab the larger breaches out there. So if it has a certain number of users in that breach, they will grab it. They will then extract the email addresses and the phone numbers from the passwords. They will actually, if you go all the way up to the top here, click on the notify me link right up here and give them your email and your mother's in email and your kids' emails and register them. And then when a new dump comes out and your email or somebody else's email is in there, they will email that person and say, oh, I'm really sorry. Your information was in this new dump. Giving you a little bit of heads up, hopefully, before attackers get to use that. I'll just say this, Troy's amazing. Um, so this is a legitimate website. I only ask that question because I know a lot of people would be worried putting their telephone numbers specifically into a site like this. So it is a reputable site. Troy is uh, doing great work. So if anyone is watching, um, I don't think you need to worry about putting your data in here. It's not like he's farming your data. He's trying to help you. And David, I, I hate to say this. Um, you know, people people think that their emails are private. They, <laughs> I and in certain parts of the world, you know, there are privacy rules about storage of it and all. But the reality is, is if you just Google your email, your phone number or something like that, you'll see that there are many sites out there that may be sharing that. And especially if it's found in breach data. It depends on gener which generation you come from, I think part of it. You know, in the old days, people tended to try and keep this kind of stuff private. It. But these days, it, it's so much of it's out there, it's, it's worrying. Absolutely. And I mean, this site, the thing I like about it is that anybody can come here and look and see, oh, yes, my email address or my target's email address was found in breaches. If you're a person that's a red teamer, somebody that's going to be doing social engineering, an OSINT investigator, what this tells me is that somebody has at some point used the John Doe at example.com email on at least 56 different websites. So it's an active issue email address. Think about if you put in there, you know, Micah Hoffman at hotmail.com. If you were looking up me, then you could see, oh, look, Micah actually uses that. Keep in mind also that it might not be me that that Micah Hoffman at hotmail.com email address maps to. So we always have to be careful of that. The thing that this site also shows you, if you go all the way to the bottom, and many, many people do not scroll to the bottom, is it gives you some of the paste bin pastes where this email was found. And I'm just gonna click on one. I hope nothing bad comes up. You can see this is kind of like a, a data dump. Here we have a customer ID field, field. And we see as we scroll down, we have some other data and we scroll over here, we see people's names. I wonder if I looked at this in the raw and I searched for John Doe at, there's my John Doe at example.com right here. So in this case, the pastes can take us to some of that raw data and then all I have to do is parse out, hey, look, this was customer ID number 135. Here was their password right here. Oh, sorry. Here is their password. It is hashed, which is good. And maybe there's some other information here that might be useful, but you may have access to some of that raw data.